Hello, this is Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, let's get rid of the alarm clock for now. Right, this is my new version of the biome scanning satellite. Uh, that's the biome scanner there. Uh, as you can see, it's a much more, um, <clears throat> it's much bigger. Probably bigger than it needs to be. It's still got uh, like a hundred, um, a thousand, over a thousand, well, nearly two thousand delta B. Uh, to get to its ideal scanning height. Um, largely this is so that I can take this design and fly it around the moon. Um, I'm being amazingly profligate. It's one of the things you can do in, space, in the Kerbal Space Program that you can't do in the real world, which is just chuck tons of stuff. Um, obviously it's got proper um, solar panels on it um, and it's got some batteries. So power shouldn't be a problem. Scan set range is ideal. So there we go. Now here's hoping I did do, didn't do anything stupid. All right, let's bring up the big map and refresh. And here I am up there. So it's going to take a while for it to scan all the way up there. That's not real. Done put an aerial on it, but I think the scan. I think the scanning things. I think they come with aerials because I didn't see anything um, requiring the last one to uh, it had an aerial, but I didn't see it extend. I didn't say. Didn't see anything say, oh, you need to extend your aerial, or it won't work. There we go, we're all working. We're working fine. It's all brilliant. Uh, sweet, so that's, that's going on, so I like that. And I'll just turn it off for a moment. There I am scanning away. What I am going to do, however, because I'm not quite as polar as I would like. Let's see if I can do this. Bring up the... Okay, so that's the descending node. I want to be a bit more. Well, that's going completely the wrong way. Right. So what that's done. Uh, so that that's going to make me a little bit more. Um, Probably even more. Yeah, that feels about right. But now I want to take some stuff out of the. Uh, just take some energy out because it's it's then pushing my apoapsis up. There we go. It's not a very big maneuver. But I'm hoping it will um, enable me to get a better scan. It's nice if you could tell it's only, you know, only like refresh from there kind of thing, instead of having to refresh. The whole thing. I don't know why it's flashing like that. It's got plenty of electricity and it's generating plenty of electricity. Oh, I see. You can actually see that's the second, that's that going on there. So the other one, the, my original um, altitude scanner, is that's still going on quite nicely in the background. Um, scanning away. So I'm going to get a full one of those soon enough. And after this, I'm going to start looking at getting um, the, the, the very kind of high frequency radar 
to get a um, a nice, very detailed map. Um, and once I've tested these things on Kerbin, it will be time to start checking them out on the Mun and on Minmus, and then start thinking about sending them to other places. It's a kind of a pity I didn't have this technology. I mean, it would be, this would be exactly the kind of thing you'd want to send to uh, Jewel um, and all those other places. All right, let's just get slightly closer to there. And once I've got this dialed in might just zoom ahead a bit and uh, watch it fill out stuff uh, I think we're going to call that done What's nice about this is, I mean, there's actually a, uh, a cheat that you can enable, which will, which will show the biome maps. Um, and uh, ScanSat means I won't have to do that. I can, I can do it legitimately and say, I have that information. I know where the grasslands are. Um, Let's just zoom ahead a little bit. So uh, it's actually getting all this information, but it's not drawing it right now. Uh, not in time warp. So we're going to go around. Oh, I'm going to miss the. I want to see if I get that anomaly. It looks like I'm going to miss it this time around. Whee! I have a few orbits. Uh, let's bring up the alarm clock to see if I'm. I mean, it's days and days and days and days. I mean, and and an orbit. Um, do, 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 do. Look at that inclination, 89.2, that's pretty good. Really low eccentricity as well. What I could add. I could add an orbital period. So an orbital period of, of 43 minutes. So I'll just go around a few more times. Basically, as long as I'm not going to miss out on my um, Minimus rescue. Now I'm getting very dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just hit refresh on that. Ooh, now did I get that? I did. Now you now you can apparently now this, this this biome scanner does scan for anomalies. Um, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> right, so we'll refresh this. Ah, so it's oh it's found anomalies all over the place. Look at that. One of which has now got um, so that's that's the the, the pyramids um, waypoint. Ooh. So I can't necessarily see all the anomalies. 
because I, as you can see, uh, that's I've only scanned, you know, that much of the map. But there's stuff all over the place. Oh, look at that. Um, so yeah, the spoiler, 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 spoiler. Am I still warping ahead? I'm still warping ahead. Well, isn't all this interesting, eh? Uh, we'll just take away the, the engineer bar for a moment. Go away. Move some things around. So, all sorts of interesting things to go and have a look at. Now, what I'm hoping is that means that the um, those ScanSat uh, contracts are now going to be able to pick those up. And as I do more and more contracts, I'm just going to get more and more uh, contract telling me to go to interesting places that I haven't been to before and see interesting things uh, yeah because there, there should be some let's try a thing interesting can't turn flags back on oh because I'm warped that's why wondering if warp uh, flags show up on um the big map it doesn't look like it because I wanted to see um, if there's anything near Kerbal Space Center uh, and I don't know where Kerbal Space Center is on the map and the, the easiest way is to see flags I like ScanSat ScanSat I like a lot so I actually get an idea. I know what the the you know the coordinates of it are. Um, what just came up? So this is all oh right. So by clicking on it, I've got a um, a close up. All right. Sorry, I was, I was, I was zooming in. I was pressing the zoom in button and nothing seemed to happen, but that's because the whole map has to take a little time to, to redraw itself. So I can see there's something in the mountains surrounded by highlands. Uh, but obviously I can't really get that good look at it. Um, set landing target. I don't know what that will do. I think I just puts the the thing on the map so I can then uh, I can then check it out um, so what I could do is I can make a, a custom waypoint um, and I can use the longitude and latitude that I've got here in it's in degrees I don't know what I don't know okay so minus 28.95 minus 28.95 just hang on point nine five What's the other thing? Uh, minus 13.25. Uh, use train height for altitude.
don't know where I'm actually what if I'm going to actually send anything there. Um, but basically, I'm just pre I'm just seeing what's possible. What can I do? What information can I get? Um, no, the, the waypoint's not showing up there. Okay. Okay, I'll call it mountain anomaly. I can also change, I think, yeah, I can change the icon for it. That's where it is. And that's my, the landing site indicator. See, I'll just hit refresh on the biome uh, map overlay scan thing so I can see how much more um, we've got mapped at the minute. And as you can see, the um, terrain map Hooray. pretty close to being done. Well, there you go. So I think the next thing, there's there's a um, another scanner called the Be uh, Been There Done That, which seems to be a very odd thing, which seems to be for, for ground craft that are exploring um, uh, other places you've, you've, you've been already. A small sensor can automatically sense, identify nearby anomalies since it only Looks over short distances and very low altitudes, primarily useful to track identified anomalies that have been visited. So there you go. So I'd pr presumably I would want to put a, a, a been there, done that, on top of whatever I'm um, whatever vessel I send over there, uh, so that I can get I can then get a you know I can home in on it. I think that's what that's called. Uh, thank you very much, Waypoint ma Manager. Actually, I don't think I will go there. I think what I might want to do is wait until the game tells me to go there. Um, I think that's probably the best. Set to bring up alarm clock. Oh, good days and days and days. So I'm going to continue scanning until I get a nice biome map of Kerbin. I'm going to think about sending uh, a similar satellite suite to uh, the MUN and then Minmus. Obviously, Minmus, a Minmus satellite won't get there um, before Minmus Rescue. Uh, so we'll have a nice mapping out of uh, things in my little solar system. Uh, so until then, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos. Find Nearly Enough Dice at nearlyenoughdice.com and we're also on Facebook and on Twitter. And until next time, reach for the stars. Or um, hit the right button when you want to end a video.